Saint Christopher is one of the most enigmatic Catholic figures. He is considered a saint by many, although he is not in the official canon of the saints. We aren't even certain of his name, and there are several theories surrounding his true identity. He could have been a martyr named Reprobus, who was martyred in 251 AD during the reign of Roman Emperor Decius. Or he could simply be Saint Minas, or another saint who was confused in the years following their death. His name isn't really a name, it's a title. Christopher means Christ bearer, and is likely an honorary title given by Christians after the death of the actual man. Despite the uncertainty, Saint Christopher remains a very popular saint. According to legend, the man who would be known as Saint Christopher was a Canaanite, and he was exceptionally large and strong. One day, Saint Christopher decided he wanted to serve the most powerful person he could find. He presented himself to a local king and asked to serve, a wish that was swiftly granted. Then one day, Saint Christopher saw the king cross himself against the mention of the devil. This suggested to Saint Christopher that the devil was more powerful than the king he served. So Saint Christopher left the king in search of the devil, whom he could serve instead. On his journey, Saint Christopher encountered a band of thieves and criminals, and their leader who called himself the devil. Christopher then worked for this man until he saw him change his path to avoid a Christian shrine. The criminal explained that Christ was even more powerful than he. Once again, St. Christopher set off in search of Christ. During his quest, he encountered a Christian hermit who taught him about Christ and the fact that Jesus was the king of all kings. St. Christopher asked how he could serve Christ and the hermit suggested a contemplative life of prayer and fasting. However, this did not suit St. Christopher, who was a large man and often hungry. As an alternative, St. Christopher suggested he work at a nearby river fording where many people had drowned because of the current. Being strong, he could help them get safely across. The hermit encouraged this, and Christopher went to work. One day, a child asked to be helped across the river. As St. Christopher approached the midstream with a child on his shoulders, the river became swift and violent, and the weight of the child increased until it felt like he was carrying the heaviest burden in his life. Once safely across, St. Christopher asked the child why he was so heavy. The child replied, I am Christ, and when you carried me, you also carried the weight of the world on your shoulders. The child vanished. From that moment on, St. Christopher became an evangelizer. He eventually came to the town of Lycia in Asia Minor, and he spent his time ministering to Christians who were being martyred there. The local authorities, seeing his popularity, first tried to bribe and tempt him away from aiding Christians. When that failed, they arrested him and ordered him to make a public sacrifice to the emperor, which he refused to do. They condemned him to death, but had difficulty executing him. St. Christopher was finally martyred when they managed to behead him. Around the 7th century, the legend of St. Christopher became popular, and many churches and monasteries were consecrated to him. He is considered the patron saint of travelers and children. Although an unofficial saint, his feast day is on July 25th. Many Catholics continue to venerate and ask for the protection of St. Christopher today. You can